You all right? Can you hear me? Back then, um, I got scraped knees. What about now? Can you get up? Don't worry about me. Worry about yourself now. How about that? Take it slow now, little by little. And we're back. And we survived somehow. This is Chaos Blue, and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII. Of course. Well, actually. I'd like to say, of course I'm okay, but frankly, I'm lucky that I'm not dead right now. I think both, I think the roof, actually, I'm not really sure how I'm still alive, to be honest, but clearly I am. Maybe I was dead all along. That which is dead, that which is already dead cannot die. Ooh. Yeah, no, what she said is the only thing that sounds remotely reasonable. And honestly, I don't think the flower bed is even large enough for it to have cushioned my fall. A properly dilapidated roof could have actually broken my fall, though. If I landed on it just right. And it was in just the right state of disrepair. <laughs> they say grass and flowers won't grow in Midgar. But for some reason, they have no trouble blooming here. Also, it's the flower girl! So, this is something that's always bothered me. It's understandable because of the polygon limit, but Aerith... Aerith... whatever. She's wearing a dress. But she clearly has two legs whenever she's on the field. Like, you can't tell that she's wearing a dress, you just sort of have to know. It's not just her who, who suffers from this, but she's the most obvious, uh, victim? Question mark? Of it. So we meet again. Come on, Cloud. Come on. Yeah, of course, you're the flower girl. <laughs> no. As previously as previously established, Sel McLeod knows how to treat a woman. Yep. Indeed, they do. But mine special is good for absolutely nothing. Hmm. Sounds like it's going to be important later on. <laughs> yeah. Sh sure. Why not? I should probably not move around too much after nearly dying from the from a fifty-ish meter fall. So. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah, I totally spoiled her name. Guess what? It's Aerith. Actually, I think it's supposed to be Aerith, like with a... with a TH, but... Aw, oh, man, I should have looked this up ahead of time. I don't remember which one's the official spelling. One moment, please. Okay, I checked. You can call me Aerith the Flower Girl. But you, but my friends call me Aerith with a th because that's my name. Yeah, jerk. <laughs> the name's Selma Cloud. 
you can call me Cloud. I do a little bit of everything. I'm a jack of all trades, if you will. Well, you know the saying goes, jack of all trades, master of none, better than a master of one. Well, for various reasons. Hmm. No. I actually wanted to go talk to the asshole standing over there, but... Then get me out of here. Take me home. She saw the, she saw the creep. Let's... <laughs> she knows how to bargain. Oh. I don't know who you are, but once I take a contract, I will never drop it, at least until I'm paid. Hmm. That's interesting. What? Hey, sis? What? Who? Were, did they call Reno sis? Well, that's just wrong. Reno is not a woman. Oh, yeah. You know, just... Although it would be potentially interesting if Reno was a woman, now that I think about it. But all the same, he is not. That part is hilarious. Uh, bat, no, uh, there we go. Is there like a, well, I don't see any items, so I guess not. Also, oh, right, I forgot about this. Oh yeah, I have a limit break from that last boss fight. Let's use it. I don't really want to save my limit breaks at this point in the game because um, well, there's two ways to get Limit Breaks in this game, uh, for the most part. You get them by using Limit Breaks, and you get them by killing enemies. So you want to do a lot of both. Uh, right, one sec. And we back. I had to check something really quickly. Oh, I also forgot to equip Aerith with ma with Materia. Oh well. That's sort of... I mean, I really should do that because she's actually a really good caster, but... Oh well. Jump, 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 jump! You know, you really should have had her jump first, probably. Also, uh... Well, she fell down, but also... What? No, that doesn't actually make sense because you don't want to kill her. Uh. Run? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh. I want to say this one. Okay. That is, did not go how I remember it going. I think I've completely buggled this up. Oh well, it's not like it really matters. In fact, it's probably not a bad thing because they'll get kills for Aerith's limit break. 
Uh, so, no real reason to actually care about this, incidentally. Or the only real reason to care about this, incidentally. <laughs> Other than just not being totally incompetent, that is. Because, clearly, I am. Totally incompetent. But, uh... I lost my trail of thought. Right. Later on, there's gonna be, like, a dating minigame, basically. Where you take one of four characters. Usually, it's either gonna be Aerith here, who, de who mind you, does always date, or Tifa, who is our sweet childhood friend. Uh... And you can do a, a lot- there's a lot of small actions that will increase or decrease the chances of getting a particular character. For instance, Aerith here really likes it when you drop, uh, these things on top of people's heads. You know, just run. But she doesn't like it so much when you tell her to do things that she fails to do. Uh, you know, I'm pretty sure there was extra options in there that were not on the PS version, which is what screwed me up. Like, I was definitely given three different options there. Whereas, before, I would have only had two. That, I did not even know about that. Also, she totally did not come with, but, you know, whatever. So yeah, that was a legit surprise, how that went down. But it doesn't really matter. Incidentally, I do not at all care about who I actually end up being with on that dating minigame. Uh, past experience has shown it's probably going to be either Aerith or T Tifa, though. It always is. <laughs> for me. No, it's because the other two options, you really need to work for it if you want to get either of them. But no, I think I think the, the those two are probably the best options anyway. And they're they're by far the two easiest to get. So, yeah. <laughs> they don't want me you see, they don't want me for my body, but for my brains. Uh I think that came out wrong. <laughs> Nothing. Let's go indeed. And... Perfect landing! Okie dokie. But first... Okay, actually a few things. Uh, I got that bangle. Yeah, okay. Four whole magic defense that I wouldn't be getting if I weren't if I weren't playing the Steam version. Also, let's throw all of this stuff on you, because you are actually like the I don't know if Aerith is the best caster in the game. But she's legitimately a really powerful caster. Like, look at her magic stat, look at clouds, then remember that cloud is double her level. Uh, that's a pretty, that's pretty significant. I don't know if she should necessarily be on the back row right now, though. That seems a little iffy to me. If only because of where we are in the game. Let's see. What is over here? Ooh, it's the border. But we can't actually do anything here. I could go back into the church, but let's not. Okay, the safe one here. I could totally stop here. I'm gonna save here. Uh, incidentally, something else I need to do more of. 
I don't know if there was the first thing I needed to do more of, but something else I need to do more of. Multiple save slots. Come on, dude. I have ten save areas, each of which holds... Can I? No. Each of which holds 15. I have, 50, I have 150 save slots. I should be using some of them. It, otherwise, it's too easy to lose stuff, and that's just that's just not good at all. Oh hey, so these duck men. At least I just thought they looked like ducks. Now I see that the thing on the front of their face is actually moving a bit. It totally didn't do that on the PlayStation. Uh, so maybe they are not in fact duck men. But I always thought they sort of looked like they had duck faces. Maybe that's just me. But anyway, they will steal from you. So, you know, watch out for that. No one does any stealing around here except for me, you see? Hey, what's over here? Oh. This is a big crack hole in the wall. Hmm. That's interesting. I see. Oh? This guy is sick. Perfect example of what I was talking about with them fixing up this translation, except not really. That is actually a grammatically correct sentence. None of this... It What it does not say is this guy are sick. Seriously. They actually did that. Like, how do you not get past such a basic uh, proofreading as that? Come on! Anyway. Hmm. You know, for a sick, sick man, he does have a lot of trophies on his shelf. Uh, presumably someone else lives in this... Is this a rocket? Pipe? I mean, I thought it was a pipe, but now that I'm actually looking at it, it looks more like a rocket thing. I don't even know, man. I just don't even... Yep. Give me all of your... Actually, I don't really want to buy anything from you, to be honest. Your ways are lame. Yeah, that is true. You find all sorts of things if you just look for them. Yeah, about that, actually. I have this junk to sell. Uh, okay, this is actually worthless. I mean, I may as well keep it, then. There are enemies that are weak against poison, so... And it's literally worthless. I mean, you're probably right. Yeah, you definitely never lie. Oh, a terrorist attack by a group called Avalanche has parts of Megar Timber out of power, but they will be restored momentarily. Following President Shinra's address, Mayor Domino has also spoken out today against Avalanche. Hmm. You know, brought Cassin, there's not any power. Does not do much good to the people who don't have any power. Just, uh, throwing that out there. Well, good luck. No one will find it. Top drawer. And the bottom. Open the hidden drawer. I'm really tempted to take this, but no. We'll leave him his gill. I mean, that's probably the kid's life savings. So, it would be pretty immoral to take it. But mostly, though, I want the item that I'll eventually get for having left it alone. <laughs> no, I didn't want to talk to you. Shut up. Wait, what do you do? 
Whatever. You. I want more of these things. Do I need three? Wait, let me think for a second. Uh, I... I think I only need two. So, yeah, let's let's. Uh, I only need two. Okay. I'm glad I worked that out. One for now, and one for later. Hey, it's a save point, and also a purple. Must have purple, and also an item. But first the purple. It's cover! Cover is a purple material, a new type of materia. A materia that cannot interact with other kinds of materia. That, that's what the purple means. It mean, Wait, no. Is that what it means? Maybe it can interact with other materia. I don't even know, man. Okay, here are the colors we have so far. Green is magic. Blue is a additive material, so it has to junction with another material to do anything. Purple is... I'm pretty sure purple means it doesn't pair up with other material, but also usually it's a passive effect. Like, it'll give you... Cup the cover ability, or it will increase the amount of stuff you gain when you level up. Things like that. Or, or to give you a flat, well, not a flat, a percentage increase to a stat. Th things like that. That don't really make sense to pair up with anything else anyway. Anywho, on that note, I think I'm going to stop off here. Join me next time when- oh. Join me next time when we check out this house! It, it's Aerith's house. I mean, who are we kidding? When we go inside and see what happens. Until... Until next time, this is me, Chaos Blue, and have a great day. Bye!